Hey what's up guys, welcome to another edition of Rider Response. This one is going to be really interesting so I suggest you guys stick to the end of the video. Before we get into today's video, please grant me one minute to thank today's sponsor, XM. XM is currently running a promo whereby they are giving away a Volkswagen Polo GTI DSG and I'm pleased to let you guys know that to enter this promo is really really easy. To register, all you need to have is a validated XM real trading account with at least $50 in it. To enter, all you need to do is trade one standard lot size on either forex, gold or silver. To increase your chances of winning, trade an additional standard lot size on either forex, gold or silver. And keep in mind that for every additional standard lot size you trade, XM will give you an additional lucky draw ticket. The Volkswagen Polo GTI DSG isn't the only thing that XM is giving away. They're also giving away a Honda motorbike, a Samsung TV, a MacBook Air, an iPhone 13, a Samsung S22 Ultra and cash prizes totaling to the amount of 79,000 Rand. Please use the link in my description to join the promo so that you can win some awesome prizes today. So this comment was left under the most recent video that I have made about Riff Wayne and this comment was left by a user named Pickford Baba. This comment reads at Rydal Fix, bro I think you are making a mistake by constantly bothering someone who doesn't even have your time. Bro, level up by doing something meaningful with your life rather than focusing on people's shortcomings. For me, I think Dr. Ref really had a good intention about this Popcoin project, but this project eventually failed due to lack of vision and negative vibes coming from people just like you. See bro, smart people should just know you just want to use this guy to get attention but remember the bible say do not judge and there's a reason for that. Although I just know Dr. Ref but I really got most of my inspiration from him and I love him so please leave him alone and do your thing and let another man live his life. Shia to poverty. Now as much as I wanted to throw you under the bus in the beginning. Just, you know, shade your left, right and center. Shade you up until the sea water didn't even want to wash your face. I thought I could be shady or I could lead you something, right? So, I'm going to go through your comment piece by piece now. I'm going to answer it sentence for sentence. And if you at any point feel that I am lying, I would like for you to give me the fact. My Instagram is open, you can inbox me, you can leave a comment, but bring me solid facts that I can verify, okay? Shop. In the first line you are saying, bro, I think you are making a mistake by bothering someone who doesn't even have your time. Okay, now I'm not bothering him exactly, I'm just spreading awareness about the truth. And the truth doesn't actually ask for someone's time the truth just is so i'm gonna keep on telling it for as long as it is available the next sentence you are saying bro level up by doing something meaningful with your life rather than focusing on people's shortcomings now if their shortcomings affected them and them alone i would have been chilled with it but if their shortcomings means that they get to harm other people financially? Oh no, that is most definitely when I will not keep quiet about it. For me, I think Dr. Riff really had a good intention about this Popcoin project, but this project eventually failed due to lack of vision and negative vibes coming from people just like you. Now, this is the actual point that I actually wanted to get to you. No? Keiki, this project failed because it was never a legitimate project. For something to be a cryptocurrency, it has to be what? Decentralized. And Pipcoin was not decentralized. You could buy Pipcoin off Ref Wayne's website, which means there was a central marketplace for it. Yes, you could buy it from other people that has Pipcoin, but for your initiate tokens, you have to go through what? The website, meaning there's a central marketplace for that. And a cryptocurrency doesn't have a central marketplace for uh, where you purchase um, the cryptos, because apparently this was most not a crypto. Secondly, you couldn't mine Pipcoin. So that defeats the purpose of it being a crypto in the first place.
You couldn't mine it for nothing. You can mine Bitcoin, you can mine Ethereum, but you just cannot mine Popcoin. Now, the reason Popcoin failed wasn't because there was people that was like me, that's negative. And just to be real, I'm not negative, I'm truthful. There's a difference. Uh, Popcoin failed because Popcoin had these huge promises, but Popcoin had no utility. Riff went promised people that you can go in the shop and you can go buy a bread with Popcoin. Popcoin and I can bring you the evidence if you want me to just let me know in the comment section but the truth is Popcoin never had that kind of utility. Bitcoin which is the largest cryptocurrency you can't even go into pick and pay with Bitcoin yet but Popcoin has utility. That was just cap. Now the other reason why Popcoin failed was because Popcoin was simply a pump and dump scheme. Now the reason why I say that is because Popcoin went for 100 rand per coin at maximum but the moment Ref Wayne sold his it fell flat to less than five cents per coin now this coin was based on peer to peer activity right and it shouldn't have failed because at its peak there was 66,000 active people so if it was really a peer to peer system it wouldn't have failed but it did because you answered it there you say lack of vision and from who was the vision supposed to come from us the users no it was supposed to come from yours truly scam riff wayne anyway let me continue uh see uh, see bro smart people should know you just want to use this guy to get attention but remember the bible say do not judge and there's a reason for that now it's not about using him for attention uh, we're not children here the truth needs to get spoken about the moment you know the truth you'll be able to make a better decision about if you really want to join this person's services or not although i just know dr ref but i really got most of my inspiration from him and i love him so please leave him alone and do your thing and let another man live his life shia to poverty so already there you are showing us that you are biased you are coming out of your emotions because of this and that is just totally wrong because when you look at emotions the people that have been scammed through popcoin they have been suffering the most but nowhere do you see ref wayne take accountability for this do you nowhere do you see ref wayne saying okay let me take time out to really apologize and really explain to people how it came about that they lost their money Instead, what does he do? He hops from one grift to the next. If it's not the book he's releasing, it's another robot. And you guys are not catching on. You are a little bit too slow for that. Because every time Rev Wayne farts, you guys are like little minions doing ooh, ah. And you are the kind of people that is helping them perpetuate their scams. Because they got you in the fields. And the fields very often trumps the mind so once again thank you for your comment me bro it allowed me to actually give you further context and if you want me to post the evidence of where ref wayne says you can go into the store and buy things right now with popcoin leave a comment in the comment section and i will come and post it my bro i'm about facts i'm about truth i'm not about drama whatever happens after i post the truth that is outside of my control and i hope you understand that if you guys enjoyed this video i sincerely hope you did please do smash the like button for uh some support over here leave your comments in the comment section i'm very keen to hear what you guys have to say uh share this around because i believe people there's a whole lot of people that's like still in their feels about ref wayne and they need to get out of that they need to get out of that and then if you're new here please do smash the subscribe button because evidently this is where we come to expose scammers with proper evidence every single day i'll see you guys in my next video cheers